Now, at the same time, residents of Nairobi's KMA Estate South Sea are up in arms over the alleged sale of a public utility land to a private developer. Well, Hassan Mugambi with that story. KMA Residents Association is a worried lot. A crisis meeting is underway. KMA Junior, that has been up and running since 1990, now has an eviction notice on it. The KMA Housing Cooperative Society is said to have sold the piece of land on which the school stands to a private developer. The residents say in 1990, the society agreed to set aside the land as public utility, hence the building of the school. They claim it has now turned back on its word, a move that has not sunk well with the residents. Charles Opondo has been living here for 22 years and is also the director of the school. I mean, I'm not refusing. I'm a tenant. I cannot stop them from selling. So all I was asking for is adequate notice to move out. In fact, that is another problem that the school has just opened. If you come up to tell them that just close the school, where do the children go from this school? The chair lady of South Sea Residents Association saying that a high-rise apartment building in the already populated area will only bring more misery to residents. People get starved of water. Uh, we have security problems. We have environmental hazards, uh, drainage coming out, um, overflows coming out into people's houses. So we have already a constrained infrastructure and such developments will hinder it more. So for nearly 30 years, the school that has been around just closes at the month's notice. That is not acceptable. The residents say they have written to the cooperative society seeking a reversal of the notice, threatening to seek legal redress should they be compelled to vacate by end month. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.